the column wise addition of the elements in the reduced insulin matrix that i mean to say how is the column wise addition that column wise addition will give the voltage relations is it right it gives the voltage relations how these are the voltage relations that we are trying to understand here so here in this case this is the given graph for this graph we have uh, calculated the incidence matrix and we have converted that incidence matrix to the reduced incidence matrix is to be exact we have deleted the row which is corresponding to this bottom node that is reference node which is the node d that uh, row i have deleted this here as far as this node a is concerned this is node a this is node b and this is node c if we are taking the parameters for node a both are outgoing that's why it is a plus 1 and plus 1 for branch number 1 and branch number 2 is it right i am remaining in terms of zero similarly for the uh, node number 2 uh this 4 is outgoing 3 is outgoing this 4 is outgoing 3 is outgoing and this 2 is incoming that's why it is minus is it right and similarly for the node c here one is outgoing uh, other is uh, sorry one is incoming other is outgoing this 4 is incoming which is minus 1 and this 5 is outgoing that's why it is plus 1 and we have deleted the row which is related to this reference node as we are doing in case of the nodal analysis method also is it right means what i mean to say whatever i have presented here this is not the incidence matrix this is the reduced incidence matrix this we have deleted one of the row in this particular case now try to understand how is the column wise addition so here in this case what we have here i have tried to mention something i will read out it first and then we will try to correlate these things the column wise addition gives the relation between the node voltages node voltage means va vb or vc but here in place of giving those names i have given the names as vx vy and vz is it right the potential at this a point is the vx potential at the b point is the vy and potential at the c point is the vz and the branch voltages means voltage across this branch number 1 this is v1 voltage across the branch number 2 this branch is the v2 voltage across the branch number 3 this is the branch number 3 its voltage is a v3 v4 and v5 and so on is this terminology i have tried to use means here what we have on the horizontal axis means here we have the first node and its potential is a vx here we have the node b and its potential is vy i have given the names some different and this is the node c its potential i have given as a vz is it right because uh, uh, there should not be confusion between a and b that's why i have considered the vx vy vz these are the node potentials at a b and c points is it right at the same time i have given the branch voltages this voltage of this first branch is v1 voltage of the second branch is the v2 voltage of the third branch is the v3 voltage of the fourth branch is the v4 and finally the voltage of the fifth branch is the v5 these are the things which i have to mention uh, in this particular case before starting of this uh, finding the relation between uh, our column wise addition uh, means indirectly we are finding the relation between the node voltages and branch voltages is it right if i am finding the voltage of this first node voltage of this uh, sorry to be exact voltage of the first branch if we are finding the v1 how it is v1 this v1 is only one parameter is there throughout this branch means this v1 is the same as a vx i have tried to mention here this v1 is very same as a vx similarly if we are finding the voltage v2 how is the voltage v2 this voltage v2 is 1 into vx means vx Minus one into v y means minus v y. This v x minus v y is the value of v two. Let's look at here. This v two is nothing but v x minus v y in this relation. How is the v three? This v three is the same as this v y. This v three is the same as a v y. Then v four. This v four is v y minus v z. And this is v y minus v z is the voltage which is a v four. This v four branch number four voltages. and finally the branch 
phi voltage that is v phi is equal to this v phi it is very same as this v z this we are indirectly we are able to calculate the relation between the branch voltages and the node voltages is it right we are able to find out the relation between these branch voltages and the node voltages is it right if i will copy this equation if i will copy those equations i have copied it just v1 is equal to vx v2 is equal to vx minus vy v3 is equal to vy v4 is equal to vy minus vz and v5 is equal to vz these equations i have copied from the previous slide we will prepare the following matrix is yes, we will organize or we will arrange these equations in the matrix form we will arrange this equation in the matrix form this here is this element is v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 because we have the five equation this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 this is equation number 3 this is equation number 4 and this is equation number 5 all these equations we are trying to map in the matrix format how is the equation v1 1 is a vx vy is 0 vz is 0 in this particular equation number 1 only vx is present v uh, vy and vz are absent that's why it is 0 and 0 because we are multiplying with this term this is 1 into vx 0 into vy and this 0 into vz means we will get indirectly this equation how is the v2 for this v2 this v2 is equal to this particular row into this column this vx minus vy which is vx minus vy this from this equations we have prepared this particular matrix is it right and if argon and organizing this matrix in the compact form then this matrix can be uh, something like this is it right this vp is nothing but it is a column matrix giving v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 that is the branch voltages this a transpose is nothing but this matrix is a transpose of the reduced density matrix which we have obtained previously i will show that also and this vn stands for the node voltage matrix which is vx vy and vz is it right means indirectly this column wise addition we are doing we are preparing the relation between the branch voltages and node voltages we are preparing this matrix and from this matrix we are organizing this matrix in the compact form which is nothing but this is vb is nothing but column matrix indicating the branch voltages this a transpose is nothing but this matrix which is the transpose of the reduced density matrix and this vx vy vz is nothing but it is again the column matrix representing the nodes available in this particular graph is it right and this is the final equation which we will use many times for the calculation of the branch voltages i will stop here i will discuss i will take the reviews from your side and that i will proceed with the row wise addition means indirectly how we are finding the kvl and kcl relations that we are trying to understand here one is the column wise addition and other may be the row wise addition i will come back to you i will discuss these points and then we will proceed further with the another relation and then we will prepare the final equations and then we will do the calculations about how to calculate the current and voltages in the given figure is it right how is the transpose of the matrix just i will show here in this case whenever the row of the matrix this is the row of the matrix when row of the matrix becomes the column of the matrix is nothing but transpose of the matrix this 1 1 0 if i am coming to this particular figure look at here this is 1 1 0 0 0 is the, uh, the that particular row is in this particular case it is a uh, functioning as a column similarly if i am going back again this uh, 0 1 1 1 0 here in this case 0 1 1 1 1 0 this is column and finally 0 1 1 1 is this 0 1 1 1 means in this particular case this matrix is nothing but transpose of the reduced resistance matrix that i mean to say here yeah i will discuss this point here what is the vp here i have already discussed the vp is a column matrix showing the branch voltages the vp is nothing but v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 so how many number of the branches we have in the network or maybe in the uh, directed graph that i mean to say is the vp a transpose is nothing but transpose of the reduced resistance matrix and vn is nothing but the column matrix showing the node voltages this vn is nothing but the node voltages that i have tried to mention 